A question that is often asked to SSM admin is why a device or set of devices are not receiving policies. And when SSM admin reviews the configuration manager properties, it seems that action items are missing. In this particular video, we will be having a deeper dive on what could be reason and fixes that can help to get all the action items. In the previous video, we saw that the device was not in boundary and because of which it was not getting all the action items. In this video, we will move forward where boundaries is set still, what could be reasons that why action items are missing. Before moving forward, if you are new to this particular channel, then please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. This is your host Yagnesh Malavia welcoming you. First of all, I would like to thank you for encouraging me by liking the content and commenting. Your comments are really helping me to come up with more knowledge videos. As I see several comments are more on the real time scenarios, the issues that you are facing and it helps me to further deep dive with the case studies on this issues. So thank you for this engagement. In the previous video, we saw that all the action items were missing and along with that, even the site was not configured. And that's what we saw in the configuration manager properties and also in logs. Over here in this case study, we will see that action items are missing. However, the site code is assigned. So for this to investigate, we will go to C colon windows CCM logs and there are three log files which are important. One is client ID manager startup, second is client location and third is location services. So let's see what does each log say. As we see in the client ID manager startup, client registration is pending, the client is not registered. It means that because the client is not registered, that is the reason that we are not seeing all the action items in our configuration manager. Let's see the other log, which is location services. It states that current AD site of machine is fourth coffee, Austria. That means that this particular machine is connecting to AD site. Then the third log, which is client location dot log, which is saying that current AD forest name is fourth coffee local domain is joined. And here we see that assign MP change from DC 01 to DC 01. So over here it is connecting to MP which is DC01 and from that it is getting the site code FCH. So it's able to connect to MP. However, further from the MP, it is not getting the information. So over here, we will review the logs from the MP side. As the MP is TSDC01, let me log into that particular machine. I will go to command prompt. host name and this particular machine is TSDC01. So over here I will review a couple of log files. In this I will go to SMS CCM logs folder within that MP registration manager. So again I will go back to my client machine and I will capture the GUID. For that I will log into the CL01 machine where our configuration manager is not having all the action cycles. So here the GUID is mentioned, which is 29676722. Either I can note it manually or I can take it from the location services. So if I just search 2967, here is the GUID. I will just copy this particular GUID. And I'm again going back to my DC01, which is my MP. Over here, I will highlight this particular GUID. And we see there are multiple entries. Over here, it states that MP reg did not find the client GUID public key. This may be because the client has not registered yet. So same information we are saying. Along with that, we are saying something more where encounter database error while verifying headers for client GUID and there is an error code. So if I just review this particular error in the error lookup, public key not found. So let's check another log file which is mpfdm.log which is located in 
SMS logs folder. I have already opened this particular log and here we will see that there are certain errors. First of all, what is mpfdm.log? So as you see in this particular Microsoft document, it records action of the management point component that moves client files to the corresponding inboxes folder of the site server. So over here, our site server, which is tscm01 and it is giving an error, cannot create a unique file in tscm01 fourth coffee local sms fch slash inboxes slash auth slash ddm box slash rec rec. So it's giving an error file. Now basically error 5 means access denied. Let us check this particular location. So for that I can go to run and enter the fqdn which is tscm01 fourthcoffee.local and in this as it states sms fch in that inboxes auth ddm.box and reg reek. So it's giving an access denied. Let's log into this particular site server and check this file. So I'm on the site server tscm01. Let's check this particular path, which is d colon config manager in boxes within that it's auth in that ddm.box and reg rig. You don't currently have permission to access this folder continue and you have been denied permission to access this folder so we need to gain access to this particular folder for that i will go to properties security advanced and there are several deny permission that is set so let me edit this particular permission allow Okay, SMS site server, edit, allow, okay, site server, edit, okay, and system, edit, allow, okay. Okay. So now as we have given the permission, let's go back to our CL01. On this, we will see the client ID manager startup log. Here it states client registration is pending. I will just restart the services, which is SMS agent host. This is only because I need to speed up the process. So now as this particular SMS agent host service is started, the logs are moving forward. There are more logs that is getting updated. So let's wait as the communication is established. Let's check our MP. We are seeing no errors as logs are progressing further. So the communication which was not happening from the MP side is now fixed. Now this is a particular case which I have created with what issue that may come up when there is not enough permission that is set. So let's see the configuration manager whether we get all the options. Here is a configuration manager and action cycle. We are seeing all the action cycle. So let's see what other probability of solutions that can be applied to fix similar issue. 
This is based on the information that I have gathered while I have been researching similar thread of issues that are present and the fixes that can be applied. As you see on screen, there is a feature of provisioning mode that is described in the Microsoft Doc. Over here, it means that during an OS deployment task sequence, Configuration Manager places the client in provisioning mode. In this state, the client doesn't process policy from the site. This behavior allows the task sequence to run without the risk of additional deployments running on the client. Now this is one of the feature. However, sometimes this particular task sequence unexpectedly fails and because of which the device is left in the provisioning mode and the communication doesn't happen. The client doesn't process policy on this particular device. The manually removing the provision mode is given as a, this particular WMI command which can be ran from the PowerShell or else the other approach is we can go to this particular device to check whether the device is in provisioning mode or not. So we can go to registry. Within this particular registry, this is a particular path, HK local machine, software, Microsoft, CCM, CCM exec. Here we will see provisioning mode, which is false. So this device is not in provisioning mode. So this is also one of the fix may work if similar situation is existing. And the other fixes are like reinstalling the client or restarting the SMS agent services. If there are duplicate devices which are present in the console with the same host name, checking this particular SMS CFG.INI file which has GUID details and the certificate. If this is not proper, reinstalling the client will create this particular CFG.INI file. So these are the few of the probabilities that I have came across while researching on this particular issue. I would like to know your thoughts on the issues that you are facing and probability of solution that is helping out to fix similar issues. Do share your thoughts by commenting on this video. This is the knowledge that I am sharing. If you like the content, the information that I am sharing is good, then please like and comment because your likes and comments are encouraging me to come up with more knowledge videos. Do subscribe this channel so that you get more updates related to MECM. With this, this is Yagnesh Malavia thanking you for watching this video.